this is Calimara here, and no, it's not Calamari. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to the pond, go ahead and take a dive. You might like it here. In this video, we are going to be designing magical girls. But not just any magical girl. These are magical girls from my original magical girl story, Wild Word, which is loosely based on Miraculous Ladybug and Tokyo Mew Mew. If you haven't seen the lore and concept video yet, I highly, highly recommend watching that video first because it will give you the relevant context for this video. I talk about how the power system works, the lore behind it, and the different components of the powers. I also have a Q&A video where I make revisions and clarifications to that video, and I also talk about the setting of the story. So it's important to have that context beforehand, because I'm going off of the assumption that if you're watching this video, then you would have probably seen those videos and are waiting for the official hero reveals. The feedback you guys have given me for Wild Word have been incredible and the fan art that you guys made of your own Aegis wielders are so cool and it makes me so happy to see the concept resonated with so many of you. And now, after quite the wait, I will be revealing and designing the main protagonists and telling you guys a little bit about them. I put out a poll a while ago about whether I should do a full reveal, talking about both their civilian and hero forms, or a partial reveal, doing only one or the other. And while most of you guys voted for a full reveal, I decided to do a partial one because I'm going to be making story videos and I want to leave some of the reveals for the story, so stay tuned for that. As I've mentioned in my Q&A video, I will try to push out these hero reveals weekly. Although if you've been regularly watching my videos, you might have already seen the civilian designs for some of the girls too. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss anything. The main group of magical girls has four members and their magical girl names are less of a superhero name they come up with for the public to refer them as and more as code names the girls use to refer to each other to protect their true identities. Some of you have guessed which Aegises you think will be the main characters, so stay tuned and see if your guess was right. The first member we will be discussing is the enigmatic, unpredictable, and morally questionable tactician of the group, Fel Noir, wielder of the Cat Aegis. Her name is a play on the word feline and bell, plus the word noir, because the lore of the Cat Aegis is tied closely with mystery, magic, and witchcraft, and nothing embodies those concepts better than black cats. Five foot five, sleek, sensual, and cunning, Fel Noir is the mastermind behind the group. Though her plans always seem nonsensical and her motivations are often unclear, she always manages to achieve the desired results. This is very perplexing to her teammates, but attempting to understand Fel's mind is as difficult as trying to grasp proceeding mist with your bare hands. However, her gambits and whimsical decisions give the team the edge in any hostile situation, keeping their operations covert and difficult to trace. Though most of her actions appear to be on a whim, Fel Noir is an incredibly sharp and calculating individual. The wheels are always turning, but the unpredictability of her ruminations can be quite terrifying to most. Her gaze is both intimidating and mesmerizing, in a way that captures you in a trance and raises the hair on the back of your neck. You need only one look in her eyes to realize that she is far more than just a pretty face and that she has already decided on your downfall. But beyond the scarier aspects of her personality, Fel Noir is a playful and mischievous individual. She is a woman of few words and often lets her actions speak for her. Though as the group's tactician, her lack of communication may be part of the reason why her teammates find her so perplexing. Like most cats, Fel Noir is very independent and does not seem to hold any loyalties. She follows the side that gives her the most advantage, making her quite an unreliable ally, as you never know when she will work alongside you or work against you. But at the end of the day, she seems to have noble enough intentions. Perhaps? Other cat-like features she inherits from her sentinel are a pair of cat ears that give her keen hearing, a tail to help her balance and make sure she always lands on her feet, retractable claws that can shred through wood and metal, 
cat-like irises that allow her to see in the dark, and fangs that can pierce through any armor. But despite her confidence and thrill-seeking nature, Felnoir prefers to flee rather than fight. She is at her best when making a quick escape and maneuvering through difficult terrain, which she navigates with the expertise of a parkour master. But if push comes to shove and she's cornered with no way out, Felnoir is a highly acrobatic fighter who puts emphasis on dodging and keeping distance between her and her assailant. Hence, her weapon manifests as a whip with a blade at the end, capable of both slashing, stabbing, grabbing, and assisting in maneuvering at a distance. The whip's bladed end can stab through concrete and metal to act as an anchor for Felnoir to climb with. If she fails to maintain distance between her and her opponent, at her will, she can also turn her whip into a rapier, although her claws and fangs are also formidable weapons on their own. She is the most experienced wielder, having possession of her aegis the longest compared to the other wielders in the group. In that time, she used her powers for less than noble reasons, among which committing felonies she would rather not speak of and felonies she would gladly boast about. It is no surprise, then, that she has such extensive knowledge and experience with the town of Bougainville's underground. The town authorities had come to know her as the Phantom Thief, a criminal responsible for various major burglaries and the scourge of the Bougainville Foundation and the local police department. You would hope she had turned over a new leaf since then, but it seems terrorizing the local authorities had become something of a hobby to the feline. Now that we've laid out her personality, let's talk about her design and how I try to convey her personality through it. I'm going to try to use a shape philosophy for each character to convey their personality best. And for Felnoir, I went with sharp edges and points to try and make her look intimidating and dangerous. I also used shapes with sharp edges throughout her design like triangles and diamonds. I used triangles for her eyes. I gave her a diamond face shape and a triangle body shape, being thinner at the top and wider at the hips. Though, I don't think you can really see it at this angle. I knew from the start that I wanted her to have her hair up in a ponytail because it's so simple and sleek and reminiscent of a cat tail. Plus, it looked amazing on Miu Zakuro in the new Tokyo Miu Miu. But can I just say her bangs are not it, which makes me so sad because she was my favorite Miu growing up. But in Fel Noir's case, I wanted her hair to look luxurious and well-groomed, which is an homage to her civilian personality that carried over. I wanted her pose to communicate playfulness and a hint of seduction, with the way she's bending over slightly. I was especially proud of how I drew her face. I think it captures her mysterious and seductive personality perfectly, and I also love how wicked her claws look. Her sentinel stone is situated on her throat and the tattoo surrounding it is inspired by the fur patterns on a black-footed cat's neck. But that was where my plan for Felnoir stopped because I had no idea what I wanted to do for her costume. And I will be completely honest with you, her costume design was the hardest for me to decide on amongst all the girls. As you might have already seen from all the different costume varieties I attempted. Among which was her mask because I decided that instead of using masks, I was going to use the facial markings of each sentinel animal to make them look more animalistic, and I think that really set them apart from other magical girl designs. So for Felnoir, I followed the fur pattern of a black-footed cat. But getting back to her costume, I knew I wanted it to look sleek and sexy, but I didn't want it to be too bland or boring or too overly sexual. There needs to be a balance of both and it was really hard to find it. I did know that I definitely wanted her to wear pants as opposed to a skirt to support her fighting style as well as her personal preferences, but I wasn't sure how to add enough flair to it so that it didn't end up looking plain. Because the cardinal rule for magical girl designs is that it needs to be very eye-catching. So, I thought back to the character's civilian backstory, which you guys will need to learn about in the story of Wild Word, which I'll be posting as narrated videos on this channel and on AO3 and my website for Wild Word in its full text form. But as a bit of a spoiler, this character is a professional gymnast. 
So I decided to draw some inspiration from gymnastics leotards, which is often very sleek but also intricate and eye-catching, especially the costumes for rhythmic gymnastics. However, I didn't want Fel Noir to go bare-legged because it's just not the character's style preference and I think it would simply make her too powerful. And while I was flipping through references on Pinterest, I remembered Mona from Genshin Impact and her costume was the perfect compromise. So I gave Fel a leotard but added a pair of stockings underneath, which connect to her heels. Her costume is a combination of opaque materials like velvet for the main leotard and sleeves and mesh for the connecting components with metal trimmings to add more structure and flair. And I was really pleased with how it turned out. And here is Fel Noir. In the end, I decided to change her eye color to silver because it looked much more striking against her dark hair and dark costume and it matched her sentinel stone better, which is going to be a theme you'll see moving forward. Plus, it's also her original civilian eye color because it's one of the signature traits of this character and I wanted that to carry through in her magical girl design as well. Let me know what you think. Before I end the video, I would like to thank Gaomon for sending me their PD1161 Pro Display Tablet because I couldn't have made Felnor look as good as she does without it. Now, if you guys watch my channel regularly, you probably know that Gaomon is a good friend of the channel and you guys know that I always love their display tablets. And it's no different this time. The PD1161 Pro boasts 8192 pen pressure levels with tilt support, 11.6 inches of work area with 1920 by 1080 HD IPS screen resolution, which may sound really small to a lot of people, but as someone who is quite small themselves and has a very small workspace, it's actually the perfect size. The tablet also comes with 8 programmable shortcut keys and is super lightweight and easy to set up. The tablet is super responsive, the lines are perfect with no jitter, and I love that it lays flat on the table because I have a pretty messed up shoulder and it hurts to work on drawings at an elevated angle. So really, this tablet is perfect for me. And if you think it's perfect for you, now is the best time to get this tablet because they're currently running a promotion to give you $30 off your purchase. Go check out the link in my description. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Please let me know what you thought of Fel Noir and just in case, yes, I highly encourage fan art. Thank you so much to all my lovely pond dwellers for supporting me. And if you want to become a pond dweller, then join my Patreon. If you want to see more from me, then please follow me on all my social media. If you want to chat with me, join my Discord server. And if you want to see more of my stories, check out my comic because that will make me really happy. All the links are in my description and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!